Hit up the bike section at my local Walmart recently, looking for a specific bike. A Huffy Cranbrook, 79 bucks, very basic. This will be a good platform for a project I have in mind. The only problem is the Cranbrook on the shelf had a badly warped rim. I was planning on riding that day, so I ended up picking up the bike next to it, a Huffy Nel Lusso, basically a Cranbrook with a bunch of bells and whistles. It was great, but it had problems stopping. And I'm really going to need to be stopping with the project that I have in mind. So that means I took the Nel Lusso back and hit up the shelf again at Walmart. The same warped rim. Fortunately, they had three additional Cranbrooks in the back, but they were still boxed up. I picked up the best of the three. But unfortunately, the best of the three meant that it was still a beat up box. A lot of rips and holes down on the bottom. I hope the bike is okay inside. Looks like all that damage to the box is entirely superficial, because inside the bike is perfect. There's no damage at all. As a matter of fact, once I took this bike out of the box, I was shocked at the overall condition. There wasn't even a scratch. I've never purchased a bike from Walmart that didn't have some sort of packaging scratching on it. I'm starting to second think my whole idea for a project for this bike, and that's because the bike itself is nearly perfect. I can't stress how good the finish is on this. 79 bucks and I get a bike without a scratch. Cranbrook is a standard beach cruiser, so they're not really any surprises. You have the standard sweeping handlebars with the huffy grips on them, a quill stem, everything you would expect for a $79 beach cruiser. Now the fenders are metal and they mount to the front fork, which is branded with a huffy logo. The tires are generic black 26 by 2.1 have a nice street tread on them. Wore this down pretty quick using the coaster brake. The frame itself only says Cranbrook. Beautiful gloss finish, which is accented perfectly with that matte black on the fenders. The seat tube features bottle cage mounts and huffy brandy. The saddle does its best job to mimic leather. It's soft and comfortable, as a cruiser saddle should be. You also get a quick release. Never understood that on these cruiser bikes, but it's convenient. The saddle itself Dual spring, very comfortable, huffy stitching. Down back you get the same 2.1 by 26 inch rear tire and the metal matte black fender. Single speed and the coaster brakes, about as fancy as it gets, but you do have some huffy embossing stamped onto the metal chain guard. The no frill styling continues with the crank arms and the pedals. Nothing fancy, nothing performance. These are meant to be comfortable and easy to use. The big question is, Will this bike's coaster brake work? Pleasantly, it does. It works well. Slows it down exactly as it should. As a matter of fact, you can even get a good skid going with this coaster brake. Starting to relive my childhood here. As a matter of fact, I ended up skidding around all day. Probably gonna wear out this rear tire way too quick. I have a blast on this thing every time I ride it. I can even get it going pretty good downhill. Now going uphill, it's a cruiser, so it's not fun. If you've ever stood up and pedaled on a cruiser going uphill, you find out why most of the time you see people with cruisers pushing them uphill. That's the push of shame, and that's because they're just not easy to ride going uphill. That single speed and the ergonomics of the cruiser bike just aren't fun going uphill. But there's always the flat areas and downhills, and that's where these bikes excel. They're made for those slow, smooth, steady, flat streets. And on that, they're absolutely perfect. And this Cranbrook does an exceptional job of that, especially for a $79 bike. But I want to go fast. And for fast, I'm going to have to do some upgrades to this bike. And that's kind of a shame because it looks so good. But I did discover that the finish on this bike is kind of like the finish on a Chinese scooter. It looks good, but not very durable. After one day of riding, I noticed that there was a scratch on the top tube just from the jeans of my pants sitting on the top tube when I straddled the bike. The only other cosmetic deficiencies on the bike are the welds. They just don't look good. There's a weld or two or three or four or five. Well, you get the point. There's a lot of welds that don't look good, but that doesn't mean they're not structurally sound. And that's what I'm banking on because I'm putting an 80cc kit on this bike. We'll find out how well it handles it, because this is going to be an extra 26 pounds and a lot of vibration. So if there are any problems with those welds, they'll show up pretty quickly. So hopefully the next time you see this bike, it'll be going a lot faster than this. Upgrades aside, I think this is a great cruiser for $79. It looks good, it rides good, and it seems like it's going to hold up. There's just not that much to break. 
Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more great bike videos.